Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. It's so good to have to be back, <laughs> to have you guys here as well. Thank you. Um, my name is Alita, if you don't know. For those who've never been here, it's your first time, welcome. Um, and just to give you a bit of background, I share prophetic words that the Lord gives me through dreams that he gives me. Um, extra background, I dream every single day. Some people don't, some people dream once in their lifetime. I am not that person. I have dreams every day, every day, multiple dreams. It's a lot, but I'm used to it. It's what I've always known. I, I don't know any difference, so it's not like it overwhelms me. Um, so I just thought I'd add that little piece for those of you who are new and don't really know much about um, why I have so many prophetic words based on dreams. That's the reason. <laughs> and also the other reason is that the Lord wanted me to come here and share these dreams and prophetic words as he leads because I have a lot of dreams, like I said, and it's not every single dream that makes it on here. Um, in fact, most of them don't. It's the ones that he leads me to share with you guys. So having said that, I just want you guys to be aware that there are scammers out here on YouTube, people that create fake profiles with my name on it and also other prophetic voices. Be careful, excuse me, be careful of um, that they are going around asking you for donations and um, I definitely wouldn't do, do that. I wouldn't reply to your comment asking for donations. Um, and then the, the, the other disclaimer, which is really important, is just to remember that not every prophetic word is meant for you. It's so important that you pray about it, that you take it before the Lord. Um, yeah, and ask the Lord to confirm the word for you. Ask him your questions. Just really seek him on this because relationship is key. It's really about you and him. It's not about me being this in-between messenger. Yes, I can come on here and I can give you the words. But the most important thing is that you go to him and you get that confirmation. And for some of you, this may be confirmation of something that the Lord has already shared with you. He's already spoken to you about this. I still encourage you to pray about it. I still encourage you to go to him with your questions because... It's still about that relationship. It's about you and him and hearing from him directly. Um, I come on here and I share these words just as a catalyst for you to take something to the Lord, if, that, if I'm making sense, and um, to be, to draw closer to him. It's all about just going back to him. Um, yeah. Um, so let me share the dream with you. I, I had this dream. When did I have this dream? Let's see if my phone will give me this information on February 28th, 2021. In this particular dream, I was, I'm having a lot of ocean dreams <laughs> and beach dreams lately. This is one of them. I was, um, on a beach and I was looking out into the ocean, relaxing. And I remember a friend of mine, um, someone that <laughs> um i don't know how to describe the relationship there is no relationship anymore this is someone that i was uh friends with for many 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 years and you know it's one of those relationships that the lord said you know you gotta let let this relationship go so she was on the shore as well but she was further towards uh the the sea the ocean and i just remember that there was a lot of activity on this particular beach in terms of not in terms of people no more in terms of just animals animals that you wouldn't find on the beach but it wasn't exactly like tigers and bears or lions no um it was like random strange birds um and i remember where i was sitting next to me there were there was like this nest of um of animal droppings and and this is these are the type of droppings that you you, you know you that a deer or um yeah i think a deer would 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 um secrete and then i remember seeing crocodiles so everything else was kind of just there right and then these particular crocodiles alligators whatever they were <laughs> they were such a rich rich um green color everything else was just okay like color wise i don't yeah i don't believe the lord wanted me to like focus on the colors of everything else it was just particularly these crocodiles they were like this deep green um very rich and there were about three of them uh and i remember they were mostly close to my friend right and 
when I saw them, I was like, I am out of here. I'm not doing this. Okay. <laughs> These are crocodiles. <laughs> and I was like, girl, you better move, you know? And I ran into the um, hotel place um, and she also came in. Um, the, the crocodiles that were closer to her, at least the one, one crocodile, um, was really close enough to attack her, but it wasn't attacking her. It was just close enough to be there. That In my mind, I'm thinking, it's going to attack you. You got to go. So it didn't attack her. She made it into the place and she went somewhere into the hotel. And I was also in the hotel, but I was looking for that place where she was. I need, I wanted to be there. I felt strongly that I needed to be there. I kept trying to get there throughout the rest of the dream. I was just trying to get to where she was in this hotel. It was like, this is our hotel room. This is where I'm supposed to be. And I just couldn't get there. I just, I was up and down in the elevator trying to figure this out. And I just couldn't get there. And the dream ended with me trying to get there. <laughs> very frustrating, but that was the dream. So um, this dream was very interesting to me. It took me a while to figure it out and I didn't want to just come on here and just um, share what I thought it meant. And, you know, the Lord really, <laughs> you know, it's always so amazing when the moment he steps in and he gives me the interpretation, it's just this huge contrast from when I'm trying to figure it out. And sometimes I may be even really close to, you know, what he's um, revealing to me, but it's just not quite coming together it just feels strained and then when I get a download from him it's like oh <laughs> you know just that moment of aha I get it so um yeah so I didn't want to rush um into the interpretation of this dream and of course it's not what I initially thought it meant um yeah so I had a very small part of it and he revealed the bigger meaning so for those of you who this word is meant for um and some of you may already be going through this some of you need to be aware that this is coming this is happening in your life but you may be in a relationship with someone it could be a friend it could be um someone close to you i'm really sensing very strongly a friend <laughs> um who you are you're in relationship with them you you have plans to move forward with them in terms of just whatever is going on in your lives and um but the situation is such that so you're at a transitional point in your life being on the beach on the shore can sometimes signify transition um symbolized transition signifies is not the right word so it can symbolize transition and in the stream that's what it was uh, symbolizing but in the state of transition the lord is saying be careful be careful who you have with you during this time and who you want to take with you or go um with forward because this person in your life um is is not the right person to move forward with they are under the influence of a territorial jealous spirit the crocodile with that deep rich green color um green with envy <laughs> um i know that green can mean life it can mean um you know new life or something really flourishing uh, abundance and beauty but on the negative side it can mean envy and jealousy um we know we've heard that term before you know green with envy and that's what um, God is trying to show us in this dream is that this person that you're trying to move forward with there's a certain level of envy that they have and because of it it's causing them to be territorial about you around you about your situation that you have with them and um, God is going to cause you guys to go separately and you it's not going to work out you're not going to be able to move forward and um, it's almost going to be like you're striving every time you try and move forward with this person try and move forward with whatever plans that you have together it's going to be like this uh, you're not you're just not going to be able to get it together so that was me in the dream trying to get to where she was feeling like that's where I needed to be and I just wasn't getting there and the Lord is saying that you don't need to go through that he doesn't want you to be frustrated he wants you to let go because this person is under that spiritual influence of um jealousy envy and they 
being territorial over you, over your situation, over your life. And he does not want you to partner with this person. They're on their own path. It doesn't mean that this person is evil or bad. It just means that the enemy is trying to use them to control your life, to take your life in a certain direction that the Lord doesn't want you to go in. That direction may even be good. It may look good, but it's not where God wants you to be. And this in this um, spirit that the enemy is using is uh, is almost like making it seem like um, they care for you, you know. And it's and and you know what? Here's the thing: they probably really do, but the enemy is using that to get you to move in the wrong direction. So, like I said, it's not that the person is evil. It's not that where they. Um, where you're trying to go with them or try or what you're trying to do with them is necessarily evil. It may even be in line with your ministry, with your talents, with your calling. It may even be in line with that, but it's not where God wants you to be. He has something else for you. And he's saying, stop trying to chase that because that's not where he wants you to be. He's not going to allow you to move forward in that project, that thing, that whatever it may be. And it's okay to let go. I felt so frustrated because I wanted to be there. And I remember feeling in the dream that I just needed to just give up. Just stop. Stop trying to be where she is. And I just didn't. I just kept trying and trying and I, up and down in the elevator. Just trying to figure this out. And it was not um, It was not happening. So, so just be aware of that. Again, it doesn't look bad. It may even be good and right. But it's not where God wants you to be. Um, that's the key thing okay so that's the word I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I have left out I'm now nowadays in the habit of <laughs> just free-flowing with these prophetic words as, as long as I understand what the dream means then I just come on here and I share um, simply just to save time guys like notes and stuff is can be difficult sometimes so the scripture that the Lord gave me is a very um, popular one Psalm 46 verse 10 which is be still and know that I am God um, the rest of it says I will be honored by every nation I will be honored throughout the world and I think that's still very relevant to this word because he's saying just stop what you're doing stop striving check what I'm gonna do I'm gonna get you where I need you to be because I will be honored in every nation I'm gonna be honored throughout the world I need you to be in position where I need you to be, not chasing something that looks right, looks like where you should be, but it's not. I'm closing this door and I'm going to show you. And I think that's another key thing about this dream is that he's going to reveal this to you. You are going to see because I saw those green crocodiles and yet I was still trying to make it work. God is saying, you are going to see, he's going to make you aware of it. So don't even try and make it work because it's not going to happen. He's not going to allow it. He needs to do some things. Okay, he needs to get this puzzle together so that he can be honored in every nation and honored throughout the world. That's the word. Friends, I pray that it has blessed you um, as much as it has blessed me and that it's been meaningful to those who it is meant for. Um, thank you. I think that's all. <laughs> uh, thank you to everyone that has supported me in terms of my music. It makes me so happy and so excited and it gives me the motivation to do more um yeah so thank you thank you all for your love your support just your prayers everything everything i'm so grateful and remember that god is such a good father he really is and you are so special to him your voice is so gentle your heart so full of love your touch is so soothing and brighten my future your grace